I'm Drew Binsky, and today I'm gonna to show you what $10 can get you in Guyana, the hidden country of South America. You wanna taste some pineapple? Mmm. Oh, it's good, man. We are entering the fish market. Still alive. This is the street pharmacist. <laughs> this is crazy. This one is literally called Sex Tonic. What is going on? We're gonna be trying the Capadula Tonic. But does it work, Andy? This is my second time to Guyana after a not so great experience back in 2016. Kinda weird. Back then, I found the country to be really dangerous and honestly, I didn't know where to find any cool things going on. <laughs> However, this time around, I'm back to give the country a second chance. You always love you. Yeah, one one nation. So let's see how the economy has changed since my last visit and what this means for all you budget travelers out there. Right now, our $10 challenge takes place in Georgetown, Guyana's busy capital city. 10 US dollars equals 2,000 Guyanese dollars. It's time to hit the streets and see what we can find. Where are we now? What's going we on? We are in Border Market. You're gonna love this, man. You wanna taste some pineapple? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. We're just surrounded by pineapples here in the market. And they're fresh. They're actually really small, too. All right, we got the pineapple that just peeled up and she had a little bit of salt to it. Oh, and what, salt. Yeah, what the salt does is open up the flavor, get all the juices flowing. So go ahead and taste that. Mmm. <laughs> I've never had a salty mm. pineapple. Ooh. But it really works. Oh, it's good, man. Yeah, man. Two dollars. Thank you, Auntie. You're welcome. I never even knew that salt on a pineapple was a thing, but it is so good. So many vegetables here eggplant, tomatoes, peppers, lettuce. This market here is full of the freshest fruit and vegetable you can imagine. Everything. Try this. This is a part of the lychee family, right? Mm -hmm. You've never seen this? Well, then you'll get a taste of this. Mm. Very mm. gooey. Mm -hmm. Kind of sour. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a sour candy mm -hmm. that's really gooey. Very good. We are entering the fish market. We have some gray snapper right here. You had some trout right here. All the fish that you see here came from the ocean and seafood is not as wide as it is in other countries. So we don't get lobster, clams and, and stuff here, you know? What kind of fish you get here? Just fish and shrimp. So these are the guys that uh, clean me up real nice. We got Andy over here. What's up, bro? How you doing? Krabby. Hey, man. Make sure that quality, they pick out my fish, they get it cleaned up really nice. This here is a spinach, different to what you know it as. In Guyana, we call it tikri kalaloo. Anything green, we call it a kalaloo, right? It's really good though. This is gonna go good with the fish. This is $1.50. All right, what is this, bro? The young lady just found out that you, you don't have any kids as yet. So what she's giving you is the kapadula tonic. What is this? Makes your back stronger, it makes you work longer. All of that, so this is one of them. So um, this, is, this is the pharmacy. This is the street pharmacies. This is crazy, so we have a whole street pharmacy. Everything is like from the nature, from the ground. That's it. There's no like pills, nothing. There's no Viagra here. We have potent stuff, pure stuff, liquid. All of these are for different purposes. Everything. Different purpose. This is amazing, the pharmacy is awesome. Auntie, which one is the better one to try? Same family. So there's no cup, she put it in a bag for you. So this is your cup. Go ahead, Auntie. The cup is the bag. And what we do, we're gonna bore a little hole no, in the bottom. No, 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 no. Oh, no, we gotta, we gotta bite a hole in the bottom. Bite a hole in the bottom. <laughs> we got, we got, we got it this way. Check this. All right, this is a mysterious liquid in a bag. Um, it's like sugar and vinegar mixed in a bag. I don't know how my body's gonna take this, but <laughs> it's interesting. How much per bag? She just give us a bag? sample. Yes, yeah, a hair. That's oh, a sample. She just give us that by the bottle. How much is one bottle? Two thousand for the bottle. Two thousand. That's ten dollars. You, you, you don't give it by sample. Like you can't. People can't just take. No, take she just do that for us yeah. because she heard you don't have any kids yet. <laughs> so she want to prime you up. Thank you. But does it work? Out? These guys are the couplers, man, and they get to take care of you. So if anything happened while you're on your trip, these guys take care of you. Preston Rice. That's the far eye. Yeah, It's really cool how they make the coconuts. They basically just grab it with a machete, chop it up, and they pour the juice inside of this water bottle, which funnels down, and they sell it. Thank you. Good job, man. Thank you. 
All right, let's try it. Woo, that is good. So refreshing, oh my God. So sweet and fresh. Sometimes they taste sour, but this one's perfect. It tastes more just like sweet water. The other ones are sour, the tart was super good. It's super hot and sticky and humid outside, so I can't tell you how good this is. Behind me, we have the American supermarket. Naturally, I have to go inside. Looks like they have some American products. Coca-Cola. Most of these products are not American, so it can't be American owned, or maybe it's American owned, but it's not imported from America. This is cool, you got the Red Bull Acai Edition. Now we're talking. <laughs> I don't even know if they sell that back home, but that is cool. It's always a fun experience to be in a foreign supermarket and see what they have. I'm going with this wafer thing. Strawberry wafer, can't be more than a buck or two. Thank you. In total, I got a pineapple with salt, some local fish, some spinach at the market, a fresh coconut, and a wafer for $10.57. So now I'll ask you, would you come to Guyana? After visiting for a second time and making the most out of my US dollar, I highly recommend this country for people wanting to stray away from the already beaten path. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more epic stories from every country in the world, and I'll see you next week. If you enjoyed this video, please comment your thoughts down below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to this channel for more awesome travels, and also I'm giving away a a free digital version of my top 100 best travel photos of all time. All you have to do is click the link below and sign up for my free email newsletter and you'll be sent this straight to your inbox. Thank you guys, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.